Hi there, my Gemini Cancer, and welcome into your reading. So, today we have a singles reading. Um, you could already be, you know, talking to someone or something, but my intention is for this to be essentially what is next in love, especially for the single people or something. Um, so yeah, just take whatever resonates, leave what doesn't, and don't forget to check out your individual signs, as they may have other messages uh, for you out there, so um, those are going to be in the little cards over there because uh, it's on my other channel the sunny virgo tarot okay so let's take a look here what is going on in the past we have woo we have deception what is going on right now we have abandonment i actually like this uh we also have here flirt uh i'm, I'm going to take it as well and here in the future we have interference I actually like this because I do feel like there is something here around with deception you could have been dealing with a player and the thing is right now I think you're realizing that and so with a, a betterment here walking away moving on this is you I feel like this is you this is you walking away and understanding that this person is not aligned with you that this person is not what you were looking for and it's not the type of energy that you want or just you know it may not be a specific person but it's just um, energy in general. I don't want to be dealing with players. I don't want to be dealing with low vibe energy. I want to be focusing on me. I want to be making sure that I'm receiving energy that is that is a match to me and that is a match to what I'm looking for. And so I feel like what is coming forward here in the near future, to be honest, I don't think that this person will leave you alone um, and you may need to kind of cause an interference here. It's almost like they try to communicate with you especially with the radio it's like they try to say something but i feel like it is um i feel like this interference it's you putting in interference it's you putting in a block it's you creating a stop it's like just no I, i'm really getting this feeling of like putting a hand up and, and like don't even try uh, i really get that vibe uh, i was actually picking up on like a very smooth peaceful grounding energy so if you have been working on that and spending a lot more time in in nature uh, and I'm hearing in gratitude, that is your sign that you're definitely on the right place and that you're, um, that this reading is for you and that you're definitely on the right path to get into this empress energy of just, you know, focusing on yourself and making sure that you're getting what you deserve. And the, the thing is, yeah, look at that. I love this. Um, cause with this twin flame, we have twin flame, family, true love, soulmate. It's like, you're truly manifesting someone that is totally freaking aligned with you. Uh, you may have a really beautiful spiritual connection with each other. We have family here. You could eventually create a family with each other. True love, soulmate, we have friendships. Like, this is someone beautiful and someone that can treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. Um, so, yeah. So, over here in the past, we have the hanged man. In the current situation. What do we have for the current situation? Ooh, we have the world and the ace of cups and over here on what is next in love what do we have we have the fool we have the king of swords let me try because yeah <laughs> i don't think this is gonna work but we have the fool we have the king of swords we have the two of swords and let's get one more why not we also have the eight of swords so i really feel like this two of swords eight of swords um there's that thing of like the hands up right it's like i even feel like you're trapping this person is like no i'm gonna lock you out in the basement i don't want to deal with you especially with the king of swords energy coming through i really feel like you're cutting this person deeply uh and just like i don't care i don't resonate with you i don't care about you i don't want this um because i really feel like in a current situation you're definitely like breaking huge cycles and you're manifesting i don't really see this ace of cups has you already have this new love uh and you already know this person um but i see this more has you're manifesting that person to be honest for some of you within the next few weeks you could be meeting someone um but i i see this more has like you taking the leap of faith on what is next towards a beautiful new cycle and it's like i'm again i'm not going to take anything less than what i deserve anything less than what um can be a match to my empress energy and that is already what you're manifesting that is already where you're at and i really feel like you're breaking here amazing cycles in an ama amazing way um and i feel like that is really working for you with this hanged man what i'm picking upon is that i feel like 
there is this feeling of like you felt perhaps un- um, misunderstood you felt not even misunderstood it's like they they didn't even care to understand you there's there's this big thing of maybe even like love bombing or um pretending to be someone that they are not and and telling you like really pretty words when in the end they didn't mean anything you know there's this really strong thing of like oh i hear you but then they didn't hear a thing it's like they were really just trying to get you to shut up and, and allow them to continue to use you you know and take advantage of you and your energy um and i really feel like with this hanged man there's just there's just not there was just not no way that that would work you know i really don't think that oh that is powerful and i just saw 555 i really feel like you're changing this whole energy up um and i really feel like there's just this this energy of like now you can release the shackles and now you can set yourself free and um i'm even getting like we have here the trousers and this sort of cloth it looks very familiar and it's so interesting because then this material here or the the pattern looks also very familiar so it's almost like you were wearing their clothes. You were becoming a person that they wanted you to be and you were not being authentic to you. And now it's almost like you're taking all of those clothes off. You're taking what resonates with you and makes you feel good. And right now I just feel like you're discovering like your whole new skin. You're just discovering who you want to be. And you're kind of, I'm getting this thing of like hooked around their finger. And I don't think that that is you anymore you're just unhooking yourself just taking everything maybe even literally you're like packing everything that belongs to this person just like no i don't want this you know um and i feel like now they're the ones like what's coming next it's it's they're the ones that are going to almost like suffer a lot because they they cannot have you right because they cannot have that control over you anymore and i feel like that is really going to that is really going to kind of hurt them a lot to be honest so I feel like this is your message that you're doing great if you're already kind of letting go of this person you're doing great so great and just know that there is a beautiful new beginning coming through for you um tell me more about this ace of cups and the fool who is coming forward nine of wands and the knight of wands to be honest i kind of feel like it's this past person um, so far, in terms of zodiac signs, we have Aries coming through, Aquarius, Pisces, Sag. Uh, who is this new person? Eight of Pentacles, possibly someone you work with. Doesn't have to be though. Um, I feel like in 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 the end, it's just someone that is going to put in a lot of, a, a lot of effort. Uh, Page of Wands, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, it's really someone that is not here to play around. It's not here to love bomb you or pretend to be something that they're not. Like. Um, page of swords, page of cups, they could already be around you actually. Uh, and maybe that's why in the next couple of weeks you could already start to see some development with someone new because they could be kind, kind of coming out of the, of the shadows and out of the spying energy and kind of approaching you with this offer, approaching you with um, a date, with a, a confession of, hey, I kind of find you cute, let's go out on a date, you know? But their intention is really clear and, and I feel like it's really going to... I feel like this um, nine of wands and, and knight of wands, it is also a little bit of your self-protection and you perhaps wondering if this new person is also a player and is just also manipulating you and there could be a little bit of a fear, but I definitely feel like you're aligning with commitment. You're aligning with just someone truthful and honest and loyal more, more than anything. And look at that, 10 of cups wanting to come out. This is your happily ever after. And I really feel like this is someone that is going to love you unconditionally. This is someone that is going to put in the effort, flirt a little bit, yes, but not too much. Because their overall, like their their biggest main energy, it is the queen of cups. It is love. And it is not the page of wands. Because, um, you know, in terms of the, the rank <laughs> in the court is page, knight, queen, and king. And this person, their main energy, right, is the queen of cups. So... Um, emotions and this vulnerability and emotional availability more than anything it is what matters most to them and the page of wands is just like yeah well I kind of want to be flirty to let you know that and I, I don't want to I don't want to just be a friend um, but this is someone that is really going to put in a lot of effort and I definitely feel like it could be um, through career but we'll also pull some more cards uh, with my other deck 
to get some more information. But look at that. Yeah, you're manifesting someone new. And it's happening pretty soon. Uh, we also have this thing of like, move away from anything that is not serving you. Pay attention to the red flags. Honeymoon. It's just time to go. It's just freaking time to go. Because I really don't think that that... This past person is just not aligned with you anymore. Um, and I feel like this is almost like a heads up. Like, this person is going to come back with the same old story, with the same old energy. And it's like be clear on what you want and don't take anything less and and be clear on your vision be clear on what you see out of this person because it, it is very clear that they are not being truthful and you know it i feel like deep down you know it and so with this honeymoon it's like it's time to move on to better better new people yeah and look at that we have manifestation i really feel like you're manifesting someone amazing so let's pull here um, a few more messages about this new person coming in, if we can. We have the fool, yeah. Uh, and I did see give your relationship a chance as well. So it's like, just know that this is pretty freaking good. And it is okay for you to invest your time in this. Uh, so take a chance, take a risk without a doubt. Who is this new person? We have family. We have fear. There we go. Yeah, I really feel like you're scared that this is just going to be another player. I really don't think that it is. I feel like they're super funny. Um, and they really like, um, I'm getting parties, but not necessarily parties, like, getting drunk or anything like that. I feel like they love socializing. I feel like they love people, you know, I feel like they love getting to know people and they get really fascinated by their stories and everything. Um, I feel like they're, like, a human person, <laughs> you know, they're a human contact person. Um, with a family here, it could be that you wouldn't know them through family. But there we go, secret admirers, like they're already around you. I really feel like they're already, they already have their eye on you. That is amazing. They're definitely already spying on you. And there, there we go with the, like waiting. Uh, maybe they knew that you were kind of going through this with this person and they didn't think that the, like the path was clear. But maybe now they know and so now they're kind of moving forward. Um, the new person could even be a Scorpio Satch. Doesn't have to be though. Um, but yeah. So, is there anything else that we need to know to finish this up? Alright. Please trust your gust feeling because I, I definitely feel like, uh, you know. It's like, you know. So, uh, around this person especially. This past one, you know. Um, we also have soulmate. We have obstacle and we have control. And with the obstacle, it has like blocks. Um, and it's like take control and put blocks on the things that you can. Um, because I, I really feel like this person is just trying to dominate you and trying to control you and trying to have um, a way with you. And again, manipulation, deception is just not good. It's just not healthy. And I feel like now you've learned the lesson. And I feel like this person coming back would almost be like the final the final step to break that pattern, the final step to break the lesson and to make sure that your guides, it's, it's almost like a, telling your guides, hey, I've learned the lesson, it's okay, we are free to go towards new heights. And they will do it. You know, they will bring you the, the new person here, which is a soulmate. And I feel like there's going to be like immediate chemistry, immediate attraction, um, you know, especially with this intimacy. I feel like more than the central side, there is definitely some flirtiness going on. But I feel like there is going to be a lot of confidence and trust. I really get a lot of, I don't know, it's just like you vibe. You just vibe. You just get along so well. And it's effortless. And I really feel like it's going to, to make a lot of sense. All right? So, Gemini Cancer, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have another cuspy here. Um, and if you want to check your individual signs, don't forget about that. Uh, other channel but if you want pick a cards the bird's nest series is the place to be and if you want to dive deeper into any of this we can take a look at it in a private reading the link is going to be down below and now that you're there you can also check out my patreon where i have self-care content and twin flame, uh, blah, twin flame readings <laughs> um but yeah so with that being said i love it very much i wish you the best and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye